Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, one of my favorites, a great member of the House of Representatives, has uh, introduced a really important piece of legislation. And Congresswoman Schakowsky, uh, welcome to the program, first of all. Thank you. Gr- great to have you back with us. And let me uh, let all of, our, all of our listeners know your website is Jan Schakowsky. Um, and if you don't live in the district and you don't know how it's spelled, it's, it's uh, S-H-A-K-O-W. S-C-H. S-C-H. Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. S-C-H. A K O W S K Y dot org, and and uh, we just asked all of our all of our listeners to call their member of Congress and ask them to vote no on the war supplemental. So before we get to the the thing that I actually wanted to talk to you about, um, let me just ask you, uh, or let me lobby you. Uh, will you please vote no on the war supplemental? I, I do plan on it, but let me tell you that it is useful even for people who are voting the way you want mm-hmm. to hear from you. I remember distinctly getting about over 5,000 emails in October of 2002 to vote against the um, war, uh, you know, against the war in Iraq. And I carried them around with me. I read some of the letters that um, I got on the floor. So it is supportive to also communicate with people who vote your way. Right. Okay, great. But you're going to be voting against uh, more more money for uh, Afghanistan. I, I am. Okay, let's talk about uh, the, the deficit hawks. The Republicans are running around hysterically going, oh my God, we've got a deficit, we got to do something about this, which, which of course, is Jude Wininsky's two Santa Claus theory that he proposed back in 1974, where he said when Republicans come into power, they need to run up as much debt as possible, and then when Democrats come into power, the Republicans need to scream about the debt. And they've been playing it just exactly the way he wrote it back in that article in 74, ever since Ronald Reagan came into office. And so, hey, let's play along with them. You're suggesting a piece of legislation that would actually cut the deficit and would accomplish something close to, to you know, a, a more reasonable health care system. Tell me about this. Yeah, th- this was one of the most popular elements of the legislation, as we discussed it, creating a public option, allowing people to choose as one of the possibilities for insuring themselves, a not-for-profit, government-sponsored health insurance plan. Um, we connect it to the Medicare rates, although we pay doctors 5% more than Medicare in this. It would, go into the, it would be one of the choices within an, the exchanges that are set up of different insurance options in 2014, and the Congressional Budget Office, which is the standard for deciding how much money is either saved or spent, says... And is nonpartisan. And is nonpartisan, says that it would save $68 billion over six years to have a, uh, a public option, because one of the things it would do would be to serve as an anchor that would diminish the rates that insurance companies, competitors, could charge as well. Right, by virtue uh, of that good old-fashioned American value competition. Competition, competition <laughs> exactly. Oh. And, and, you know, I have to say, I think the insurance companies are helping build support for this legislation by mm-hmm. their um, absolutely obscene increases in, in their rates right now, right. In, their, in their profits, and in their premiums. So, Congresswoman, we're talking with Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, her website, Jan Schakowsky with a Y dot org and, uh, and a CH. <laughs> right, and a CH. Uh, yeah. There you go. Uh, Congresswoman, what's the timeline on this? When is, when is it coming to, uh, before the House? When's it coming up for a vote? When do you need our, our listeners to be calling their member of the House of Representatives and say, please join with Jan Schakowsky on a public option? Okay, I would love to say that it's going to happen right right away, although we only we need to get it done by 2014. So our our time right now is being used to organize support. The 75% of Americans who say that they preferred a public having a public option because we plan to move the bill when we come back in 2011, right at the beginning of the next session, so not right. very long from now, we we think that this is a fiscally responsible and a good policy uh, proposition, as, as you said. Um, and and so um, you know, if you wanna if you wanna save money and do good, th- and and as I say, this is something that was one of the most imp- uh, popular elements of the legislation when first introduced, right. having a public option. Yeah. Everybody gets it. Obama it basically even campaigned on it. I mean, yeah. 
Um, but, um, you know, I also want to say these so-called deficit hawks right mm. now, while they are for, they, they're, they're, they voted against extending unemployment insurance benefits, they're right. all for extending the Bush tax cuts for the wealthiest, right. which is literally trillions of dollars over the next years in cost to the, the, the public. So right. we're, we're saying... You know, the, the, the hypocrisy is just breathtaking. Yeah, plus they want to eliminate the, the uh, hundreds of billions of dollars of revenue from the rich brat tax, also known as the estate tax. That's uh, right. They call it the death tax. The I call it the rich brat, brat tax. tax. Yeah. Well, that's what it is. Yeah. It's a tax on rich brats. It's, and it's you know, dead people don't get taxed. It's it's their it's their heirs. And uh, so Very I, few families in the United States of America would benefit by one nickel. Oh, of yeah. The, of the estate tax. Yeah, no, it's right. just the rich brats. That's what it is. <laughs> I, mean, by the, the, I, I call it the Paris Hilton. Uh, the Paris Hilton tax, yeah, exactly. Right, yeah, it's uh-huh. perfect. And if, if and she's an icon for rich brats. Right. And you know, I mean, that, there are, there are some wealthy people that I know who are really good and decent people and philanthropic and have good impulses and God bless them. They're not rich brats. They're they're rich good people. But uh, the the ones who are funding this program, particularly sliding the money, you know, under the back door through uh, Frank Luntz and whatnot. But anyhow, that's a whole other thing. No, Jan- but I do think, for example, that the estate tax could be dedicated to Social Security, and that would solve our our, uh, our shortfalls after 2037. Yeah, although we won't have a shortfall for a long time. And no. if we just eliminated the cap so that Bill Gates pays the same on Social Security that I do, that would solve the problem too, right? I support that. Okay, good on you. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky, one of the best. Help her out. JanSchakowsky.org is her website. And uh, just keep up the great work, Congresswoman. Thank you, too, Tom. Thank Thank you. you.